Do you ask yourself, who would I like to be? Because I think our next speaker does ask the question, and in regards to her students, probably. Uh, Dr. Ronit Ashkenazi, the Deputy General Manager and Pedagogical Manager of Amal Education Network, probably does that after uh, the schools were a trade school. It was a trade school that transformed and now asks every student, what would you like to be? Dr. Ashkenazi? Good morning. I would like to ask you a question. Uh, really, two questions. The first question is, which one of you have a real exciting, great, relevant, and significant high school? Not so many, but okay. The second question, which one of you think that your school give you really good tools and skills for your life. So, we try to do it differently. We try to give our students something special, something different, something unique. And as Professor Zeif had said, we want them to be special. We want them to be unique. We want to give them entrepreneurship, innovation, and excellence. So, how do we do it? Well, the Amal Group have like 120 high school and colleges for technicians and practical engineers all over the countries. We have schools in Tzfat, we have schools in Naharia, Kabia, Dimona, in Beersheba, everywhere in the country. We have population, every population you have in Israel, we have in Amal high schools. We have Jewish, secular, Orthodox, and ultra-Orthodox. We have Muslims, Christians, and uh, Bedouins. We have Jews. Everyone you find in Israel, you find in Amal high schools. But the idea is how we try to combine them, how we give them the tools and the skill for success. First of all, we try to do something that gives them the chance to be creative, that gives them the chance to have tools for the real life. Our general director, she came from the Histadrut, the Union of Israel. And she said, when she came to the Amal, to the education system, she said, we must connect between the industry, between the business, between the real world and the education system. And we developed the model of entrepreneurship centers and entrepreneurial educations in all our schools. What we do in our entrepreneurial centers? First of all, every child in the entrepreneurial centers he learn at school and even after school. The amazing thing is that when they run away after, out of schools, at the entrepreneurial centers, they all the time want to stay there. They don't want to go. They don't want to have vacation. They stay till late at night. And that's amazing. What do we teach them? Every student chooses two pillars. One pillar is business, business managing, the other is creativity and public speaking and presentation. What do I mean in business managing? They learn how to develop their ideas, how to think about ideas, working in teamworks, and develop it to real products. How can they uh, present their products? How can they sell them? How can they find investors and they present their products through go-no-go -no -go committees? They have mentors. They try to be creative and they know how to make elevator pitch and how to present their program in very effective presentation. At the other pillar, each one choose one subject that he can be expert in this subject. It can be cyber, IoT, 
app developing, biomed, sustainability, etc. It depends on each center. We have like two or three subjects, and every student choose one subject. They develop project in this subject. This project they work on for three years. They work in this uh, entrepreneurial centers, and if you want to see a little, to test a little of what they are doing, they have a stand there. You can meet the students. It's better to talk to them than to listen to me because they are very excited. They love what they do. Uh, someone, uh, Professor Zeitman, told about the passion. The idea is our students from the entrepreneurial centers and the entrepreneurial programs that they are passion, they are excited, they love what they do, and they do it with very deep learning. We are not talking just about um, ideas, but we are talking about learning something by researchers, by working, by doing, be, being very active, and they go deeper in the product or in the apps they are working at. Well, everyone here knows that if you work hard, you succeed. It's not, just an, it's not enough to be just clever. You have to work hard. And our students work very hard, but they succeed. For example, our students at the Entrepreneurial Center at Shevach Mofet, they go the first prize at SEDGE, which is the International Young Entrepreneurs Competition. Uh, another one is the cent our center in Hadera. Uh, they got the prize by the ETF, which is the European Foundation and Training, to be an insp inspiration models of how to educate for entrepreneurship. We have many more prizes, but I just give you two examples. Well, if we want to invest in our children, and we put a lot of investment and a lot of resources and we want them not just to get. We want them also to give back to society. Because being someone at your life, you have not only to get, to receive, you have to be able to give back to society. One of the examples how we do it is the competition. We have a competition for developing products and apps for people with special needs. Our students work all their, on their products and all their apps all over the year. Then we have a mechaton when we invite need knowers, special, uh, people with special needs, and we invite mentors from the industry, and the students upgrade their products. You can see there the people and the students, they are work on the programs and upgrade them. Afterwards, we have the final events when they present what they have done and got prizes. Another thing that we find that is very creative and very engaged the students is the mechatons. We make a lot of mechatons where students are working during the night, have an, a problem and they are working on it what we call a design thinking, and we develop it as part of our learning. Collaboration. We find it very exciting to collaborate with international, with other countries, and I invite here, you people, call you, to collaborate with us. We have already collaboration with Italy, with some countries at the United States, with Denmark, First of all, we send our teachers and students to other countries to learn, and we also bring a delegation from other schools. But the idea is not just to send delegations. The idea is make researchers together. You will see the students there uh, have made researches with students from Torino. The students from FAT make a real science research with students from Florida. That's the idea, and we are open for a lot of collaborations. 
We also developing studies programs and materials. If anyone is interesting, we can sell them. And we have special programs for teaching, teaching training as entrepreneurs. We believe that teacher is not anymore a lecturer. Teacher is something else. Teacher should be entrepreneur. Teaching should create his courses. Teacher should design the way he teach. And he can be a mentor. He can learn together with his students. Uh, something which is very important, I finish, uh, is we integrate a lot of advanced technology in our pedagogy. It's inter integrated in the pedagogy, it's integrated in the way we teach. We teach with iPad, with smartphones, Google apps and Google tools and Apple apps, etc. And I'll finish with the MOOC. We have developed two MOOCs. One is Education for Entrepreneurship, what we are specialized in. You can find it in the internet. And another one is lifeward learning, because we think you should not learn only in class. You should learn everywhere in the world. Thank you very much.